Hi everyone, we're going to build this navigation along the top here. Okay, we are going to build it together so we understand some of the principles. You'll notice that I didn't end up styling these buttons very much. Why? Because we're actually going to bin this in the end. So do it, follow along with me, build it with me, but don't put too much style into it. Don't spend half an hour you know, getting the kerning right and the font size perfect because we're going to bin it. We need to know how this thing is created in a simple form so that when we add the kind of uh, easy one from Webflow, we can adjust it knowing what we're doing. So we're gonna cover things like float, inline and block elements. So let's get started. Okay, to make our menu, we are going to put in first a section. Okay, because we've got our hero section, we've got our uh, boring little sponsor section. Let's add another one for our navigation. So section, I'm gonna drag it. Remember I can drag it on the page or I can drag it in here. Okay. Up here, can I get in the right place? Probably not. Look at it. <laughs> I want it inside the container, so I missed it. You can adjust it afterwards. So see my section here? Actually, I want it inside the container just above the hero. Look at us. All right, I'm going to give it a name. Okay, while I remember. Okay, going to call this one uh, section, and this one's going to be called my nav. Enter on the keyboard, because we're going to recreate this, okay, on my mock-up here. Remember, you can pick your own colors and your own styles and your own fonts. Uh, so yeah, let's make this. So background color, start with that. So um, remember, I've got all mine curled up. Remember that's option or alt on a PC, option on a Mac. Okay, I'm gonna say with that selected, I've got my nav, selection nav, background is going to be some sort of dark gray. Excellent. Let's add an image for the logo. So let's go add, let's go down to image. Okay, and just drag it inside. Perfect. Now in terms of the logo here, I'm going to click choose image and let's go and upload one. Now I've got one that I'm going to use and I've got a generic one you can use. So under club event site, okay, go to icons and I've got, I'm going to use icon kayak. Okay. It looks like that. Um, you can use, go get your own icon, try something like iconfinder.com and look for the free ones in there. You can find your own kind of like logo thing you could use for the moment. Or you could draw one in Illustrator or Figma or XD. Okay. Or just use one of these two, like generic club icon, another generic club icon. In the moment, just use the 64 pixel one. So a small one. But I'm going to use the special kayak one because that's the one I'm building. So there we go. Kayak logo in. Hmm. I must have changed the colors <laughs> somewhere along the line. Oh, well, it's purple now. Size wise, okay, it's weird. Um, look, oh, sometimes you can't drag it unless this is closed. Mm, that seems to be intermittent. Okay, and what we'll do is we'll add a class to this image. So we're gonna say this is my image. I'm gonna use uppercase I, image logo. And I'm gonna say this has some, what will padding and margin do? Okay, not layout, spacing. It'll do the same thing. Okay, so padding and margin will look the same. I'm undoing. Okay, so I'm gonna use margin All right, roughly. So I've got that. I would like to add my little buttons over here. So let's go to add. Let's add some buttons. Let's go one button, get it in there. And you're like, huh, how do I get it over here? Okay, so the way to get that over here is something called float. So with the button selected, I'm gonna say you under position, okay, have this thing called float. I'm gonna float him to the right, okay? Like right align, but for objects. I'm gonna float them to the right. What happened? I've added a style to this button and I forgot to add a class, kind of on purpose, I forgot. Uh, so what can we do? It's already created this one for us. That's okay, I can live with that. So I'm gonna call button, this one's gonna be called space nav. Cool. Now, uh, what was my text in this one? I'm gonna have past events, sponsors, events. So this one here is my big one, events. Let's go events. I want another one. What we can do is just copy and paste. So I've got it selected. Command C, V on a Mac, Control C, V on a PC. You can actually hold down the Option key, okay, or Alt key on a PC and just drag them out actually. That makes a duplicate too. It's a bit fancy. Uh, so I've got three buttons. This one here, I can't remember, was uh, Sponsors, was it? Sponsors. Okay, and this one was Past Events. These buttons are probably too closely named. But anyway, we're building our nav. Um, so let's preview it as we're going through. Let's have a look. Okay, it doesn't go anywhere yet because I don't have those sections, but I will. Um, yeah, let's do the spacing on this. Uh, so turn the eyeball off. So I'm going to say, select it on one of them. And because it's applied 
I've, you know, it's on all of th all of these because I copied and pasted it. So button nav, button nav, button nav is on all of these things. If I had a button now, a new one, I had in there. Can you see? It doesn't get the same thing applied. And you're like, actually, hey, what if I go over here and apply button nav? Okay. So can you see here? If I clicked in here, I could type button nav and it would work. Do I have to be uh, the exact same button nav? Yes, it works. It's easier though, just to click on it and click in here and look, it goes, hey, but there's existing classes, Dan. Do you want to use one of these? And you're like, I do. I want to use button nav. And if you've got a thousand of them, which you might do in the end, you can start typing, remember image, and it just shows you your image hero, image logo. That's the kind of naming convention that I like because it makes it easy, but I've got button. I've only got two of them, but at least it cuts it down to these two. Ooh, nice. Okay, so I'm gonna get rid of him. Uh, I'm gonna style these guys, and I only need to style one. So I've got him selected, doesn't matter which one. Okay, I'm gonna go into my uh, spacing, and I wanna push it down from the, do I? Push it down from the top and away from each other. Okay, so how do I do that? Is it margin or padding? <laughs> Just drag both then, <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, so there's gonna be a bit of this. I want some margin on the sides. Now, if you want more space inside of the button now, let's say, can you see my button here has quite a bit of, you know, uh, negative space in there. This one's really close. So I click on, it doesn't matter which one you click on. Now, is this gonna be padding or nav? It's gonna be padding, Dan, come on. Can you see the, the gray one? It's got 15. You didn't add that. It's grayed out because it's the default. It's what Webflow and Web in general have added. The ones that are blue are the ones that we did. Okay, so I'm gonna drag this up from the side and 32 on this side as well. Now, a little trick for styling these things, I'm gonna undo and undo again. So it's back to the defaults. If you hold down the option key on a Mac and drag one side, can you see they both come? Hey, you see it's doing left and right at the same time. So that's option on a Mac, alt on a PC. Same for the top and bottom, any kind of one that has, you know, top and bottom, left and right, you can do that, it's up to you. If you hold down, you hold down the, is it the command key? Shift key, alt shift key, I can never remember. <laughs> <laughs> if you hold down shift key, it does all of them at the same time. All of them at the same time. Okay, so yeah, I use the alt option one quite a bit. The holding down shift one <laughs> is a bit of keyboard smashing. But anyway, we are there. Now I should go through and completely style them. Actually, let's add one more thing before we move on because we're gonna bin this, remember? Uh, so uh, I wanna add some text. So I wanna add some text here. I wanna show you how you build it. Oh, you already know this. I spoke at the beginning, but I want to show you how it was built on your own so that when you get given the car, you know, the, um, what is it called? The element that is a component ready to drag in, you know how to adjust it. So let's add our bit of text. And this is going to be interesting. We've added headings and paragraphs, which made sense before. I want a logo. There's no like logo text option. So if you're unsure if it's, if it's none of these, then it's this one. Text block is generic block of text that means nothing really. You know, it's not, the, the browser doesn't think, oh, it's a heading, it's special. Or, oh, hey, this is the article and the paragraph, very special. Well, the main guts of it. Okay, if it's just supportive text and you can't think of what to call it, you know, it's not any of these two, drag this in. It's just a kind of like a really basic unstyled block of text. And let's type in your, you know, look at your brief. And what was mine called? I put mine in caps. Uh, idea. Kayaking club. Let's put in yours. And what do we do here? Have a little think about it. Pause it. Like, what would you do? What would you start clicking on? What terms bubble to mind? We looked at it before. And um, it was to do with the layout. So I'm going to click on this. And he is the name. It's hidden in the name. Text block. Okay. Block means he goes all the way, clears the space for himself. Nobody else can be on the same line as him. But we can say, hey, buddy, under layout, I don't want you to be a block. I want you to be inline block. Get in line. Okay, and it's given it a class because I've added a style to it, okay, which is layout display um, inline block. Okay, I don't want that. What I want is, I'm gonna call this one text, and I'm gonna call it logo, okay, and I'm gonna say you are, well, I guess in the right place, job done. <laughs> I'm just gonna style them now. So I'm gonna go spacing, I'm gonna add some margin to the side, always the wrong way. Okay, I'm gonna go to my typography. Okay, and I'm gonna to go to, what am I using? Can't remember, Roboto, I think. No, we're using Open Sans. Where is it? Open Sans, there it is. 
Okay, I'm going to use the bold. I'm going to use the color of white. Okay, we'll do the red stuff in a little bit, but that's kind of the right size as well based on my mock-up, but we could change that. Cool. So sometimes the default is right. Okay, like this image here, just kind of, well, actually this text box here is set to um, display block and we needed any push down the next guy. And then we wanted that, but then sometimes you're like, no, we don't want that. We had the image, remember, it was set to inline, but it kind of wasn't what we wanted. So you push down, clear a space, pushing this guy down. All right, all this work, and you told me at the beginning we're going to delete it. Why? Well, it's because you don't have to, but it's we've been working on our desktop and we've kind of just hinted at these other different displays. But if I go down to mobile, ah, okay, it kind of rejiggles and doesn't quite fit. And you want the little nav bar, you know, with the, uh, the nav sandwich, the little three lines that you can click and drop down. Everyone loves that, okay? And to get that going, there's a bit of JavaScript. It's, it's you know, there's breakpoints. It's, it's not hard, but it's way easier to let Webflow do it. And me, even as an advanced user, I'd still just use the pre-made one in Webflow. But it is super handy knowing how things like float and inline block work first when you start modifying it. Because you dump it in, you're like, I want to change everything. <laughs> and it all falls apart and you have no idea why. So now we know how some of the structure works, we can use with a bit of authority, we can use that nav component. So let's go and bin this and, and do that one now. I'll see you there. I'll see you in the next video. That, my friend, is the end of the video, uh, but not the end of the course. Uh, the video you just watched, um, it is a small part of my larger course called Webflow Essentials. So if you enjoyed the video, my teaching style, there'll be a card up here you can click or a link in the description, okay? And come join me for the full course. Uh, like the video as well if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel for more stuff, but hopefully see you in the course. Bye.